Hi guys, if you have recently installed Fedora 39 Linux on your system, then this video is for you. In this video, we are diving into 16 essential things you must do after installing Fedora 39. We will guide you through a comprehensive list of essential tasks and optimization to uh, refine your Fedora experience. If you are new to the world of open source or seasoned uh, Linux enthusiasts, Fedora 39 has something for everyone. Fedora is all about staying current. With regular update every 6 months, it brings you to the latest and the greatest in open source. It's reliable, easy to use and offer a variety of desktop environments. So uh, you can make it your own. So no time waste, let's jump into essential stuff you should do after installing Fedora 39. Stick around, let's get started. Alright, first thing first, let's make our Fedora truly yours. Let's start with the basic to make your experience smoother. Let's go to setting and here we will enable tap to click. So in setting, choose mouse and touchpad and here you see a little option tap to click. Just enable it. Now your touchpad respond to a tabs. Make the navigation smoother. Stay in setting, head to power option and switch on uh, show percentage. Now you will always know how much battery you have left. No more guessing. Now in setting, jump to the appearance and select the dark mode. It's not just cool, uh, it's uh, easy on the eyes. Perfect for those late night coding sessions. Alright, let's talk about keeping your Fedora system up to date. This is crucial for performance, security and getting access to the latest feature. Now open the terminal and run this command. This command check for any update available for your system. And here hyphen Y is like your system saying yeah yeah just do it. Saving you from pressing uh, Y every time. Now guys, this command might take quite a while, so I'm gonna fast forward it. Now for the full experience, you can also run the upgrade command, uh, which is sudo dnf upgrade. Alright, let's boost Fedora with RPM Fusion. It's like unlocking extra feature uh, that Fedora doesn't come by default. So run this command uh, to install the free stuff. Uh, guys, it might take quite a while, uh, so just install it, uh, type Y and hit enter. Installing RPM Fusion is like unlocking the full potential of your system. You will get access to multimedia codecs, property drivers and software that doesn't come include by default. It's all about having the uh, tool that you need for the best for your Fedora experience. Alright, let's talk about updating those NVIDIA drivers. Here, uh, you need to run this command. Here, AK mode stands for uh, AK modular. It's a way to build kernel module for your specific kernel version. In simple terms, it ensures that uh, your NVIDIA drivers match your current system. This could take a bit. Download is around 373 megabytes. And once it's in, the install is, uh, uh, installation size is about 980 megabytes. So, make sure uh, you got a bit of time on your hand. Updating your NVIDIA drivers is important for better performance, compatibility with the latest software, and uh, sometimes bug fixing. It is like making sure your graphics engine is running smoothly. One eternity later. Let's talk about turbocharging your download on Fedora. We are going to tweak a couple of settings and it's very simple. Run this command, it will open the DNF configuration file. And here we need to pa uh, paste two lines. Max Parallel is going to download and fastest mirror is going to throw. But we need to run this as sudo. So let me open as sudo. And guys, here Max Parallel uh, download equal to 10 mean telling Fedora, hey, download up to 10 things at once. More speed, less waiting. And fastest mirror equals true is like telling Fedora to always pick the fastest server for your download. And guys, you can uh, check whether it's done or not by using uh, cat. So as you can see, uh, these lines are added and there you go, you have just unleashed the download beast on your Fedora. Alright, let's level up your Fedora experience by installing Genome Tweak Tool. Go ahead and type this command in the terminal to install Genome Tweak Tool, empowering your desktop environment with advanced customization capabilities. Once installed, open it, uh, it's a hub of possibilities tailor theme, icon, fonts, and more to suit your professional aesthetic. First, uh, let me enable the maximize and minimize buttons. 
So let me click on continue. And here in Windows, you can enable this, uh, these buttons. So by adding Genome Tweaks, you are giving your computer a makeover. Take a moment and explore the deep feature of this Genome Tweaks tool. Enable RPM auto completion. To gather more information about the package, you run this command. DNF info bash completion. It will show all the commands related to name, license, summary, source, and size. Enabling RPM auto completion helps you save time and avoid typing errors. By automatically suggesting and completing commands or package name as you type them in the terminal. You can install it by this command in the terminal. Bash completion is now installed. And guys, uh, the script is placed at this location. You need to run this command to show it. This is script automatically called uh, during login or when you're starting a new shell session. Now, uh, to load the script for the current session, you need to run this command. Source and this bash completion.sh. Fine. Let's try it out. So, uh, let me run this command. So, do dnfi and press tab button to get the suggestions. So, wait for it. And here we have, as you can see, it shows all the suggestions related to I, like info, installed, and info security. Guys, if you want to uh, customize auto completion, you can create your own function. Like uh, run this command, and it will add these uh, sites name uh, uh, when you type ping. So let me run this command. And guys, when you uh, write ping and press tab button it will show like google.com and tech jarvis as you can see this and if you want tech jarvis just press t and press tab it will show uh, all the suggestion command that you uh, save when you create your uh, own custom function so by this way you can enable bash completion in your fedora system uh, let's talk about the safeguarding your fedora journey with time shift a tool that takes in snapshot for your system for now, type shift is not installed in my system. To install time shift on Fedora, we need to add type shift repository into your system. So run this command to add it. Once you have added the repository, let's proceed to install. So run this command so to dnf install time shift. And it will install time shift into your system. Uh, so it is installing. Uh, let's wait for it. Time shift is now installed. So search for time shift. Enter your password. And here click on next. And now it is estimating our system size. Now uh, we have our disk. So select your disk. In my case, it's my 1TB SSD. And click on next. And here you can also select uh, levels like monthly, hourly, uh, when you want to create uh, snapshots. Here uh, you can exclude uh, any file you want. Like, and if you want to include uh, some files, then you can also include it. Once you've done the all the onboarding process, that is creating a snapshot by click on create. And uh, now I'm not gonna create uh, because it takes a lot of time. I'm gonna cancel it. Once you have any snapshot, you can restore it from here. If you have any issue or, or accidentally remove anything. Now let's talk about cockpit. A web interface for managing your Fedora system. Run this command to bring cockpit into your Fedora system. Once it is installed, start the cockpit service. After running this command, a cockpit will be active and accessible. 
After that, we need to enable the cockpit. This command configure system to start the cockpit automatically whenever the system boots up. Once all done, open your browser and go to this uh, URL HTTPS localhost uh, with port 9090. It you will be created uh, by cockpit login page. Here uh, you need to enter your system credential. And voila, we are on the sys cockpit dashboard for our local system. Now let's take a quick tour. You can manage user account, keep an eye on system performance, check storage, and even configure networking. All from this user friendly dashboard. The beauty of Cockpit is that it allows you to manage not just the local system but also the remote system through its web based interface. Check out the description to know more about this. Enhancing your multimedia experience on your Fedora. If you haven't already, enable the RPM Fusion repositories as we covered in the third step. And open the terminal and run this command. Uh, this single command uh, installed all the multimedia uh, drivers into your system. By this single command, you can unleash multimedia magic. It is like upgrading from basic media experience to deluxe home theater setup. You will handle a broader range of audio and video formats seamlessly. Once in it is installed, your Fedora will support a vast array of uh, audio and video format, including MP3, AC, MPG, and more. One eternity later. For versatile multimedia player, you can install VLC. Run the following command and uh, it will install VLC into your system. It is like choosing a multimedia player that speaks every media language. VLC uh, plays almost anything that you throw it. Audio, video, streaming and you name it. Once uh, it is installed, open VLC and dive into seamless multimedia experience. Explore its feature from customizing the interface to streaming online content. With Snap installed and configured, you will open a world of additional software options on your Fedora 38. In the terminal, run this command to install Snap into your system. As Snap is installing, let's explore the Snap Store. So let me open a Snap Store in my browser. Just head over to snapcraft.io and you will find a wide range of software. It is like having a one-stop shop for your all favorite software. You can find any type of software from here. If you want to install Thunderbird, for example, just copy this command and paste this command in terminal. It will install Thunderbird into your system. For the first time, it might take quite a while. So, uh, because it is setting, setting up the snap into your system. So, explore the snap store and download any app uh, for your need and requirements. Now, Let's talk about the DNF related command for managing packages on Fedora. Uh, if you want to search for any package, you can run this command DNF search and name of the package. Uh, for example, if you want to search for uh, Thunderbird, you can run this command. This command help you find available packages uh, related to specific file name. As you can see, uh, it shows all the uh, packages uh, that is related to Thunderbird. If you want to install any package, uh, just run this command sudo dnf install and name of the package. Uh, for example, if you want to install Vogue screen, you can just install the, run this. List install packages. This command will display a list of all installed packages along with their versions. As you can see, uh, we have a lot of packages installed with dnf. Removing uh, pack DNF packages. If you want to remove any packages from the system, just run this command sudo dnf remove and the name of the package. It will remove from your system. List repositories. Run this command dnf repo list to view a list of enabled repositories on your system. If you want to know uh, information about any package, just run this command. Uh, DNF info and name of the package. For example, let me uh, search for Firefox. It will get information uh, from uh, the source. Here we have, as you can see, it shows name, version, 
uh, description, URL, etc. There you have it. Uh, these are the uh, essential DNF commands uh, to know uh, to start fed with Fedora. If you are coming from Windows operating system, then Wine will play a good option for you during the uh, Fedora journey. To install Wine into your system, first we need to uh, integrate the Wine HQ repository into your system. Once it is added, you can uh, run this command to install uh, Wine into your system. Wine is already installed in my system, so it is not downloading again. As you can see, Wine is already installed. To check the version of the Wine, you can run this command Wine hyphen hyphen version. So as you can see, I'm running on Wine 8.0.2. Now we will install uh, Notepad plus plus into our Fedora. So head over uh, to this website and download. Uh, exe file for uh, notepad plus plus uh, once you download it open it in your file manager and here you need to right click on it and open this as white and it will ask for the onboarding process so just uh, keep pressing next to install it there you have it it is an illustrative example uh, of running Windows application on your Fedora using Vine. So you can run most of the exe uh, files in your Fedora using Vine. Ensuring your Fedora system is up to date is crucial for security and performance. Let's streamline the process with automatic update. So you need to uh, run this command to install it. Uh, so type Y to uh, install these packages into your system. Once it is installed, we need to run this command systemctl enable. This command makes sure DNF automatic timer starts with your system. And after that, you need to run this command systemctl start. This command makes sure DNF uh, automatic timer starts with your system. Activate the uh, DNF automatic timer to initiate the sh uh, schedule updates. The default Genome Desktop bring very minimal required application. They are not sufficient for functioning and pro uh, productive desktop. Hence, uh, here is a quick list of commands with essential application you can install. Includes Media Player, uh, Torrent Client, Image Editor, uh, Unzip, and RAR. You can install all the application with by this single command. As you can see, all this is uh, required application are installed into our system. Now, if you want to install Google Chrome into your Fedora, you need to run this command: sudo dnf install Fedora workstation repositories. But since then, you need to run this command. Now, uh, after both the commands, it's time to install it. So, type sudo dnf install Google Chrome stable, and it will install Google Chrome into your system. As you can see, Google Chrome is now installed into our system. So by this way, you can install the required application like Google Chrome and any other application you want. As you keep using your Fedora system, there are numerous things uh, you can try and explore. From customizing your desktop to discovering new features and applications, the possibilities are vast. So that's a wrap up on our guide to the essential thing to do after installing Fedora 39. We hope this helped you to get started uh, journey with Fedora. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions for the future videos, drop them in the comments below. Happy computing with Fedora 39 and we will catch you in the next one.